Yo guys, JJ here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a simple pause menu for your game. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple pause menu for your game. Um, in the next video for tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you how to make a more advanced version of it. I'm just going to be like covering over that. Um, so today we want to start by going over here, just make a UI image. Um, make this 2D. Focus on the image. Uh, it's weird that I made it that low. I'm just going to drag this up to the center and make it full screen. All right. So now that we got that, we want to just go into the game menu. Uh, you'll see that it covers the whole screen. Um, we're going to not pick a sprite for this because we want it to cover the whole screen and not like be uh, just a little edge. Um, so we're just going to change the color. Make it a little darker. And then just change the transparency. And a little darker. Okay, so I'm going to play this and see what it looks like when we uh, just uncheck this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now that we got that, what we want to do is just change the name. Just make it background, or pause background. Okay, cool. So now in the canvas, we're going to make another UI. This is going to be um, another image. And this image is going to be pause menu. Now this image, we actually do want a sprite. I'm just going to change. I'm just going to pick the info field because that's the most simple one. So I'm just going to make it a little bit grayer. I don't think I need to make it transparent. So now just change the size of this to whatever you want. It's your choice. I'm just going to change to that. See how that looks. Make it maybe a little bit bigger. And then change it to center it. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you guys can change this. You can make this however big you want it. You can make it cover the whole screen. You can make it come up from the side, come up from the bottom, come up from the top. It all is all up to you. You can actually have like an uh, overlay if you want. Um, but for me, this is fine. So inside the pause menu, I'm just gonna make a UI text and change this text. I'm just gonna center it up top. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Okay. So just change this to paused. Okay. Center these. I actually don't want to make it enter. Just there you go. Now I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to make it 30. Now you'll see it just went away, but it's still there. Okay. I'm just going to drag it a little higher. See how that looks? Looks pretty good. So tomorrow I'm just going to show you how you can like add more buttons. Actually, I, I can add the buttons today and then I'll just show you how to add features to the button so it opens another menu and then you can change features and it actually adjusts to in-game. And then you can exit and save and it'll save the game as, as it is. Um, so what you're going to change is name. Paused. And just change it to text. Okay. So another thing in here, you just want to add the buttons. So UI button. We're actually gonna make, okay. So how many do we need? We're gonna say one for resume, uh, one for controls, one for music or sounds, one for video quality, uh, another for quit. So how many is that? Do we need any more? One for resumed. That's about five. I'm just going to make five. Four. There we go. So I'm just going to drag these into place and then make them however big we want them. So just make that one right there. 
I'm gonna take this fourth one, drag it all the way down, and maybe a little higher. Take this one, and this one. So, I'm gonna resize these. So I would say maybe about 175. And this one I'm gonna say 45. That's pretty good for that one. And these ones I'm gonna say 175. Actually, no, 170. 170 and then make it 40. And so 170 and 40. I could just do these all at the same time, but I chose not to. I uh, probably should have, but I didn't, so that's all right. So 170 and 40. So actually, I'm going to make this this first one right. Actually, yeah, come on. This button. I'm going to make it a little bit longer, so 175. So that this is resume uh, sounds video quality controls and then uh, save and exit or whatever um, something like that. So just change the name of these. So this is gonna be resume and inside the text we want it to be resume. And resume. Okay, so oh, I don't want to enter. So I'm going to change this for all of these, and I'll be back once I'm done with that. So what you want to do is you just want to make this one sounds, this one um, video uh, settings or something like that, and then this one controls, and this one save and exit. So I'll be back once I'm done with that. So I've finished them all. Also, make sure you uh, make the font size 18 for these four, and then for the bottom one, you want um, 20, just to make it pop out a little more. Um, so this is what it looks like in the game view. If I click play here, you'll see that you well, hovering over the buttons, they show, and then clicking on them, they also show. Um, so that means we don't need to change any of the camera settings. You know how with the um, inventory you have to change it when uh, you're mousing over, but for this you don't. So after we finish that, what we want to do is add the script so that it can pause the game. So how do we do that? What we want to do is we want to put it on something that will end up disappearing. So if we put it on the canvas itself and we go like this, it will clear it out. So we can just add a game object here. Actually, just an empty game object um, outside of this, just outside of everything. And this game object is going to be game controller or game um, game controller. Yeah, that's good enough. So game controller controls the game. So add a component. This component's gonna be a new script. The script is gonna be called um, pause. No, oh, no, no space. Game. Pause game. That's good enough for me. Now we're gonna use put the script in the script folder. Just go into that. Grab grab the pause game. Open it up in C sharp. So now what we want to do. We actually we don't need the start menu. That's fine. Um, in the void update, what we want to do is we want to check to see if it's open. If it's not open, actually no. We want to start off with it closed, with it unchecked. Then we're going to save. I'm oh, sorry. We're going to want to go up here and make a variable. So public, um, public transform. And this transform is going to be the canvas. Okay. So we're going to grab the canvas, put it in there. It's going to be the canvas. Then up here, we're just going to say if the 
escape button is pressed. So input dot get key down and the key is the escape button. Oh, what did I do there? There we go. So key code dot escape. Okay. So if we click the escape button, we're going to check to make sure that the um, canvas, if, if it's open or not. So if canvas is dot game object, there we go, dot um, is active in hierarchy, or just active in hierarchy, if it equals false. So if the canvas game object is not active in hierarchy, then we want to set it active. So oh, add the brackets. So we want to set um, canvas dot game object dot active in hierarchy equals true. So we want to set it to active. Actually, no. Maybe that's oh we use active. So set active if we don't need equals just true there we go so once it's like that then we want to um, say else so want to set a lot of other things but for now we're just gonna go like this so else else uh, else canvas dot game object dot set active false okay so if the canvas is equal to false if it's not active in the hierarchy we're gonna set it active else if it's already active in the hierarchy we're gonna set it to not active so that means whether or not we have it the pause menu up or not if it's not active it's going to set it to active the escape button is going to work either way so we're just going to save that saved it already okay now just go into the game um it's already disactive unactive so we're just going to play this and hit the escape button and it doesn't work awesome oh that's why we need to put the canvas in here that might help just a little bit okay so you see, I can still move around. We'll have to fix that too. But the hovering works, the clicking works. Now, if I I can set this resume button anytime to um, exit out. But you'll see that it does work. So that's good. Now we can go into here and make it so that it pauses the... Um, it sets the world so that nothing no gravity, no wind, nothing will be activated. So how do we do that? We got to actually set the time scale to zero. So that way the time doesn't go, doesn't move. It won't, you, the time scale won't go further. So what we do is we just say time dot time scale is equal to, actually equals zero. And that's all you have to do. So the time scale is usually set to one, which is normal time. You can actually set it higher to make the wind and everything go faster, like gravity and all this sorts of stuff. But if you want it set to regular time, it's one. Zero stops time. So we can just save this. And actually, we want to go down here and set it. Okay, so if it equals true, we set the time scale to zero. Then down here, we want to set it back to um back to normal so set you know, time scale equals one so that way we can unset it and set it back up so go back in here now if we hit play you'll see that the grass is moving so see the grass look at the grass now if i hit escape it stops the grass i can still move around the character controller can st still um the look works but you can't move you can't go left or right if you hear that i'm clicking my wasd keys and nothing works but you can still look around 
you can still click the buttons but nothing else works so that's good that's what we want now oh I didn't actually show you if I undo it so I click it and then I click it again and it stops starts back up right from where it left off so stop it start it stop start stop start good so and I can still move if I move forward left right and then I pause and then I try moving it doesn't work so if I move and then stop it stops me from right where I am so what I can do is I can just stop the um, mouse look function which is in the player controller so and the first person controller so we want another transform here so public transform and this is gonna be the player alright so the player is just gonna we're just gonna grab the first person controller so uh, um, okay so I do want to add the reference so go right up here um, using unity standard assets dot uh, characters dot first person controller or just first person um, after that we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna add player dot uh, get component and the component's gonna be first person controller. There we go. Brackets and then actually parentheses. And then we're gonna just say enabled equals false. There we go. So after this, so once we open the menu we'll equal false, so it disables the player. I'm just gonna copy this, go down here, add that in here, and make it equal true. Save that. Okay, now we just hit play. And when we escape, oh, forgot to add the player. So just go over here, grab the player. There you go. That's why it says unassigned variable. So once we play, we can jump around and you'll see that gravity stopped. I stopped in midair and everything happened. So we can see the resume doesn't work now these buttons work so I'm just gonna hit escape again and it resumes it so once I hit this none of the um, the mouse look function doesn't work so I'm actually gonna set the resume button real quick and that's all of the buttons I'm gonna set just the one um, so to do that we're just gonna go into the resume button grab the game controller pop that in there we're gonna use the function, so I'm gonna go back into the code. We're actually gonna take all this out and put it into a function. Uh, so void public, actually public void public void pause, and then okay. So after that, we're just gonna grab all this stuff. Copy this. Actually, just alt it down. Delete this. I'm actually going to delete this just so I can update it. So, boom. There we go. Fix, fixes all the indentation. Um, and up here, all we're going to do is just reference pause. It's as simple as that. Oh, I don't want zero. There we go. So, we just reference this, and it goes right into it. So, just save that. Go over here and just click function, pause game, pause. And that way it will go straight into the function that we added here. So it'll automatically pause the game. So that's all saved. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to clear that. So I'm just going to play the game and see if it works. So the button should resume the game. And it does. Awesome. If you guys like the video, Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and comment down below what you'd like to see. Um, stay tuned for next episode, which is coming out tomorrow, where I show how to make this uh, more advanced, how to add these functions to all these buttons and save and exit and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.